What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA, and uh-oh! <laughs> Whoa! What happened? What happened, Kim? I thought everything was groovy over there at Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> I guess everything went up in smoke for Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, because now they have to get out here and redesign the entire website. They're running scared. They're in full panic mode. Why? Well, because you know the old adage. You fuck around, you find out, all right? And Kim found out. She found out real quick. Gamers ain't one to fuck with. Don't be out here just trying to throw your damn agendas into every game and all of that. No, 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 no. We got Cabrutus Rambo on the job. He came up with Sweet Baby Ink Detected. He said, hey, hey, that game right there, don't mess with it. Don't mess with that game right there and this game here and that game over there because Sweet Baby Ink was a part of it. And if Sweet Baby Ink is a part of it, it's going to be woke. It's going to be woke. It's going to be garbage. Do not touch it. All right. And gamers said, aye, aye, sir. All right, we ain't messing with that shit. And lo and behold, here's where we are at this point. All right. Look at this one, man. Shout out to John F. Trent on thatpartplace.com. A sweet baby ink redesigns its website to remove its client and game list as well as hide its woke agenda. I thought y'all was so proud of your work. Oh, we're so proud of our work and everything that we've done over here at Sweet Baby Inc. You know, we putting it out there on the website, you know. Patting ourselves on the back. Good job, everybody. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Okay. But now you got to redesign the whole website. You got to take off your client and your game list. Isn't that your work? Isn't that what you're proud of? The people you've worked with, the games you've worked on? Wow. What a surprising turn of events this shit is. <laughs> the gaming companies came out and said, hey, look, we can't sell games with y'all names attached to this shit. So if you don't mind, could you please remove our association with you from any material that you got out there, whether it's at a website or whatever, all right? Just please, just remove us completely. Don't let anybody know that we are associated with you because it's hurting us, all right? That's basically what happens. You know, again, it was like, kind of like that one guy. Uh, we did a video on it a little while ago uh, that he was a Sweet Baby Inc. employee. And now because of that, it's rough for him to find work. Like, damn, man, people ain't hiring me because I worked for this stupid ass company. Yeah, this is what happens. Again, folks, you fuck around, you find out. All right. And yeah, Kim Belair is absolutely finding out. From Bounding in the Comics, shout out to Spencer Bakuli, uh, Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim Belair reflects on company backlash, <laughs> says anti-DEI critics are coming together under the rallying cry of far-right supremacy. <laughs> Nah, chick. Nah, that's not what's happening. Gamers are just tired of woke bullshit. That's really all it is to it, okay? It has nothing to do with far-right supremacy or any of this crap, all right? It has everything to do with, hey, can you just make an entertaining game, please? I don't want your a message. I don't want your agenda. I don't want any of this woke garbage in there. Hey, just a nice, simple video game for me to play on my days. Hey, look, I'm off work. I want to flip on a game, and I just want to hand the controller and just have fun. Can we just do that? <laughs> Can we just have a good, fun video game without all kinds of woke nonsense in it? All right, people are tired of that shit. Oh, no, 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 that's not what we do at all. That's not what we do at all. We just make games more entertaining. No, the fuck you don't, all right? Quit trying to gaslight us, all right? Your customers are speaking, all right? They're telling you this don't work, all right? That's why we are putting up Sweet Baby Ink Detective and all kind of other shit. That's why it's coming out like this. That's why you were in the position you are. Listen to your clients. Listen to your customers. Listen to the fans. Hey, I mean, you won't mess up if you just pay attention to the people that are your actual paying customers. But see, Kim Belair don't want to do that. Kim Belair want to listen to everybody else except her damn clients, except her customers. All right. The people that are making it now. See, look, the clients. All right. Which are the video game companies. They're listening. All right, they're listening. That's why they said, yeah, uh, scrub us, man. Uh, remove us from your damn website, all right? They're paying attention. But, you know, old Kim Belair, yeah, nah, I'm doing everything right, okay? She actually came out with this uh, video here, okay? Apparently, this was recorded in August at the XOXO Festival. Uh, basically, I'm not going to play it, but, I mean, it's just pretty much just Kim Belair, uh, 20 minutes of whining, all right? 20 minutes of, I'm a victim. All right. That's basically what Spencer's article is about. All right. This whole situation right here. Her basically just crying about being a victim. Actually, let's go ahead and chop into this a little. 
In the opinion of company CEO Kim Belair, not only has the ongoing discourse surrounding the work of Sweet Baby Inc. amounted to nothing more than a campaign of harassment, but its critics' opposition of the concept of corporate-style diversity, equity, and inclusion is an indicator of their far-right ideals. I mean, again, people just want entertainment. I don't know why this is so fucking hard for these idiots we just want to be entertained we'll leave the sermonizing and the preaching for the ted talks and for church okay that's what that stuff is for video games movies that's for entertainment entertain me keep all of this dei nonsense out of it because ultimately it's not good entertainment it just ruins the overall experience for everybody all right except for the tiny tiny percentage of people that like that shit and those are the idiots on twitter with the pronouns and all of that flags and all of that kind of crap in their bio yeah but the majority of us don't have all of that and we don't identify like that so look just give us a game that we can all enjoy and, and, and then you're fine, all right? Then you ain't got nothing to worry about. Bel Air offered her take on the situation while hosting the keynote panel at the recent 2024 edition of the XOXO Festival, which per its official website is an experimental festival celebrating independent artists and creators working on the internet uh, whose various uh, speakers typically discuss the emotional experience of making things online uh, with difficult subjects, including financial insecurity, anxiety, depression, mental health. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, imposter syndrome, burnout, racism, sexism, and online harassment. So basically, it sounds like the Victimhood Coalition meets up every whatever to go to the XOXO Festival. I mean, God damn, man. A bunch of victims crying. Look, the internet is a rough place, all right? If you ain't built for the internet, get the fuck off the internet. I mean, straight up, man. Oh, the, ba the racism and the sexism and the, and the online harassment. Oh, well. Oh, well. Grow some thick skin. Look, man, this, look, this festival sounds tailor-made, all right? This XOXO festival, this sounds tailor-made for Kim Belair. Look at all the victimhood shit going on down here, man. You gotta be kidding me. Grow a pair. God damn, man. I can't stand, you know, I can't stand victims just like I can't stand gaslighting. And Kim Belair is out here gaslighting and being a victim. So, yeah, double negative points, all right? You get no points, Kim Belair. Figure it out or get lost. Look at this shit, man. I would never show my face at that damn place. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> taking the stage on Saturday, August 24, the CEO specifically centered her panel on the aforementioned wave of criticism and discussion currently being leveled towards Sweet Baby Inc. In particular, and in her in particular her and her team's experiences in attempting to weather the storm i mean well the reality of the situation kim is you know you brought this on yourself all right you know you brought this on yourself because you don't know how to take feedback you know you got to listen to your audience you got to listen to the people that are buying games because gamers ain't going for it you know they came out and they said oh no 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 y'all want to listen to us y'all trying to cancel us y'all tried to cancel cabrutus y'all tried to shut him down just because all he was doing is just pointing out hey sweet baby ink worked on this game sweet baby ink worked on this game that's all cabrutus did and she straight up tried to or not her maybe but her company and people that worked for her company tried to shut him down you get what you get man all you had to do was just say you know what ignore those cats you know, we just going to keep doing what we're doing. But no, you went above and beyond trying to shut them down. And look, the gamers are always going to win this one. All right. The gamers were always going to win this one. You guys was not going to come out on top. Uh, hello, I'm Kim Belair. She began with an introduction. Uh, in my circles, I'm largely considered, I think, a relatively nice person. Uh, these are my dogs. <laughs> these are my cats. Yeah, I mean, actually, at the end of the day, man, look, I'm not going to read through all of this shit. Uh, the hilarious part is the fact that they had to go through all of this. All right absolutely scrubbing all of this shit off of their website that tells you everything that you need to know all right the walls are closing in on these clowns all right let's go ahead and see what they had to do a sweet baby ink redesigned his website to remove his client and game list in an apparent attempt to hide his woke agenda to potential clients uh the website previously made it abundantly clear the company was attempting to inject woke ideology into video games with an about us section that declared our mission is to tell better more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching the video games industry, uh, we aim to make games more engaging, more fun, more meaningful, and more inclusive uh, for everyone, all right? 
So you got diversity right here and you got inclusion right here. The only damn thing we mi missing is equity. Where's equity? Y'all forgot to make it more equitable, all right? I mean, again, it's obvious that the agenda was in full effect, even on their own damn website. Now it's a screenshot from that. Uh, it also featured an outreach section that stated new and marginalized, marginalized, all right? They got all the buzzwords in all of their previous information. All of the buzzwords were there, all right? Uh, new and marginalized talent that can change this industry if given the proper support. We want to provide this through our outreach programs. Uh, it also listed various projects that the company it worked on. All right. And there's a list of the projects. Uh, while these were featured games, you could navigate to the site's projects page and discover more of the company's games. And then it gave some more games. All right. Uh, so furthermore, the company had listed uh, all the clients, right? So these are all the clients that they work with, all right? Xbox Game Studio, Studios, uh, Electronic Arts, uh, there's Ubisoft, obviously, uh, Polytron, Rocksteady, all right, Compulsion Games, all right, Avalanche. I mean, all of the big major studios that they worked with, all right? They listed it all, all right? And there's the little logos that everybody that they worked with, all right? Uh, these sections have all been removed and replaced, uh, now the company describes itself as an award-winning team of writers and narrative designers who help make stories better. Uh, with over 30 games shipped from AAA, indie, and solo developers, we are not just contractors. We are storytellers who can take your project to the next level. Yeah, see, one thing that I did kind of stand out with that uh, Kim Belair uh, little interview or that little uh, TED talk, whatever that shit was at that XOXO thing we just showed, um, is that, yeah, they are storytellers, all right? They know how to spin a narrative, all right? We're going to spin the victimhood narrative for Kim Belair and make it look like it's just poor whittle me against all of these mean, nasty gamers, all right? And the gamers are the ones that are this, that, and the third. They're racist. They're bigots. She even threw a shot at Elon Musk, all right? Elon Musk, who's only saying, hey, look, this ain't working. This is garbage. You know, Sweet Baby Inc. is not doing the job that gamers expect them to do, you know? They are tired of the woke agenda. People are tired of that crap, you know? But yeah, what Kim Belair did, and she spun a story, all right? She's a storyteller, so they know how to tell a story better than anybody. And what story did they tell? Oh, it's us as the poor victims, all right? Blame those mean, old, nasty gamers. You know, those are the people that are the bigots, the, the far right, whatever, man. This is absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, that's why you had to take your website down, chick. All right. You have to take your website down because like we said, it's getting to that point. It's getting to that point where now it's like, yo, this is costing us the bottom line. All right. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. And we ain't making money right now. All right. So, yo, chick, you got to get lost or you got to change this up. Keep our name out of your mouth. All right. Keep our name off of your website. Keep our name out of your mouth. All right, because we don't want to end up here. All right, uh, we don't want to end up on this joint right here. Uh, Sweet baby ink detected. We ain't trying to end up here. You know, yeah, Cabrutus is on the job, man. Look at that, four hundred and forty-seven thousand followers. I mean, this thing is grown. This thing is grown by leaps and bounds. Again, this tells you what gamers are all about. Gamers, these people, four hundred. I, I think this is like got to be one of the bigger uh, Steam curator groups at this point. People are not with it. And yeah, Kim Belair, you found out real fast, didn't you? Change your website. You can go out there and do all of the XOXO talks you want to, but change your damn website because all of these cats, they like, look, we don't want to end up on this list. All right. Yeah, we're not trying to end up in this list. You know, not recommended, not recommended, not recommended. Okay. We don't want to end up anywhere on here. Uh, recommended, I guess a couple of them are recommended. But for the most part, not recommended. We are not trying to end up on this list because it's bad for business. Bottom line, all right? Bottom line is bad for business. DEI doesn't work. It's bad for business. So we'll see what happens with Sweet Baby Inc. But look, man, I love it, all right? I love the fact that they made this idiot bend the knee. Yo, update that website, all right? Get us out of there, all right? And hide your agenda. Yeah, she got to do whatever it is that she got to do. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where Sweet Baby Inc. is going to rename themselves. They're going to come back. They're going to disappear and they're going to come back under a different name. We're going to get to that point eventually, folks. I'm telling you. All right. Because Sweet Baby Inc. is poison right now. It is poison in the gaming community. People ain't rocking with it. You know, but anyway. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm laughing, man. This is hilarious stuff. But again, F-A-F-O, all right?
F-A-F-O, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.